are the Boudoir Divas. We own a boudoir studio here in San Diego and we specialize solely on boudoir. Today we're going to be talking about our brand and some marketing tips. We really believe that we have come to this point where we are today and received the recognition and our studio has grown to where it is today because of our brand and because of our marketing. We've created something that's very specific to us that reflects us and um, so we're going to talk about that today. So we've kind of discovered four of our top marketing tips and we're going to share those with you guys. The first being referral. So, so important. What's wonderful is we use ShootQ and we're able to track um, exactly where all of our business comes from and referrals is over 50% of our business. And referrals is virtually free, you guys, so this is something that you really want to get behind. So we have these referral cards. They're actually plastic gift cards that are $50 off and we give these to our clients, we give these to friends, we give these to anyone we know, a big stack of them, and have people just hand them out to anyone and everyone that might possibly come in for a shoot here. And a note with that, uh, we don't really have business cards. I mean, we do, but more than anything, we're handing out these because they're just something of value. And um, I know for me, it's hard to just hang on to a million business cards. Eventually, you're just going to toss them out. But these are worth something. Yeah. So the front has $50, the Beware Divas, uh, the expiration date. And then on the back, it just talks about our studio a little bit. So um, it has our website. It just talks about how you can use this card towards a photo shoot package all those kinds of details. Then we also put them onto a little postcard here which you can get from Bay Photo. We order ours from Bay. Uh, on the front it just says, pamper yourself with a photo shoot by the Boudoir Divas, the ultimate supermodel experience. And then on the back is just a personalized note from us as the owners of the studio that just talks about why you should do this. Referrals are huge, it's the best way to bring in business mm -hmm. and it's been huge for us. So spread the word about you and your business as much as you can. That's number one. Number two, um, existing clientele. So many of you out there already are maybe wedding photographers or family photographers or you've already got kind of like your specialty with photography and you're incorporating your boudoir business. How many people do you have at your fingertips who already trust you, already know your name? Maybe if they're ever going to consider a boudoir shoot, it needs to be by someone who they already know. So kind of create a really um, tactful way of approaching them with the boudoir stuff and go from there. So for example, if you specialize mostly with kids and families right now, uh, maybe you could just get in touch with the moms that you've kind of established a relationship with. Just send an email to them, a personal email or personal handwritten note, and just let them know what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. That you're branching out, you're starting to shoot boudoir photography, and ask them if they would like to come back in as a VIP client because you've already worked with them in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, if you're a wedding photographer, it's just the perfect way to market to those existing brides. So if you could send an email out to all of your upcoming brides and let them know, hey, I'm doing a special for you guys for all of my 2011 brides. If you want to do a boudoir shoot, um, then you get a special deal like 10% off or something. That's just a couple of ideas. A uh, third thing for us is bridal fairs. Not only are these so much fun, but we get um, a huge kind of like list of email addresses that we'll then send our newsletter to. So we like uh, the Bridal Bazaar here in San Diego and there's countless others popping up, but make sure that you're choosing a bridal fair that isn't necessarily the most affordable, but has the most attendees. That's the biggest thing. So a few things that we love about Bridal Bazaar, number one is boudoir is pretty unique there. So when our booth is up with florists and cake people and DJs and all that, uh, our booth really stands out. Another thing is guys walk by our booth and always go, hey, what's that? And get, our, get their girl over to our booth. They love the idea of this gift. And our main goal is to collect email addresses, which I mentioned a second ago, but how we do that is by offering uh, one of our package shoots for free. If they uh, kind of give us their information and then later we're gonna send them a newsletter, which we'll talk to you guys about. But while we're there, we wanna make sure that we've got plenty of information to give them. So we send them away with one of these trifolds. And these we create by Bay, and they're a little bit complicated to put together because they do have the view in front, but we really think that sending girls away with this information is what brings them 
kind of piques their curiosity and then they'll end up coming to our site. And then another thing is, um, we've got these, and these we order from bayphoto.com too. They're press printed books, and they're basically a portfolio of our work for girls to look at at Bridal Bazaar right there, and then all of our pricing in the back, and they get to check out our sets and just start thinking, start visualizing them on themselves on some of our sets. So we see them looking at these pages quite a bit and kind of thinking about what maybe they would want to do for themselves. So it just kind of gets, gets them thinking about us a little bit more, I think. A lot of our clients are coming from these bridal fairs, so it really has worked well for us and it's a pretty expensive way to get your name out there in your market area. We do about four to six a year and we're thinking about adding on some more also. Number four out of our tips for marketing. Pretty. So after an event like a bridal fair where you've collected a ton of email addresses, then you want to really utilize that list that you've got as far as potential clients. So we love our email newsletters. We use myemma.com for our email system. And it's really easy to use. You just pop in your pictures, you write your text, and then you have a great email campaign ready to go for you. So we send out our email newsletters to everyone that we have made contact with at the bridal fairs. And it's just a great way to follow up with them and give them more information about our studio and just connect with them after they've met us at the bridal fair. At that point, we also have a call to action, so we want them to actually do something after they receive that newsletter. So we will say, click here to book your shoot right now. Or we'll even put in like some sort of sales incentive that expires that they need to respond to kind of right then and there and make a decision. So give them something to kind of take them to that next step so that they're actually like clicking through and going to your website to find out more information maybe about a special or something like that. Yep. We also love to make our newsletters look really fun and cute so it's not just a bunch of text that nobody will actually look at. We want it to seem more like a magazine style. We really infuse our brand and our look of our studio into those newsletters to make them just reflect us. Mm -hmm. So we put lots of pictures, lots of cute, fun, interactive things. We pop a lot of videos on there and just make it really fun to look at. Also with the newsletters, as obvious as it may be, you always want those basics on there. Maybe like a click through to your pricing, a click through to what your studio looks like, obviously to your website, but some of the fundamental questions that they need answered before they would even consider booking, we always have those links right there. And then the great thing about using an email program like My Emma is that you actually get to track the statistics of that particular campaign that you just sent out. So you can check back and see who's opened your email, who's clicked through, and then what links they're clicking on so that in future newsletters you can kind of tailor that uh, based on the feedback that you've received from My Emma. Mm -hmm. For us, our most popular click through is always our pricing because once they think, oh my gosh, I want to do this, next thing comes down to pricing. So you want to make sure wherever that link is going to whatever pricing page you've got on there or maybe just information about pricing and not exact pricing, you want to be really cute, really informative and also kind of a selling experience for them so they get just even more excited about the possible shoot. So those are our top four marketing tips that we think um, just have really been great for us and our business here. We're not saying you have to do things exactly the way that we do them or that we know how to do everything perfectly. We're just we don't. Trying to, <laughs> we don't at all. We're just trying to share with you guys what's worked for us. Mm -hmm. And so along those lines, we also want to talk about just our brand in general and kind of a few of the things that we've done to create the Boudoir Divas brand. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of those things is we're not afraid to be um, kind of obnoxious with our branding. We want people to get to know me and Kimmy right off the bat because we feel like we are our brand in a sense and therefore we kind of plaster our pictures, plaster our pictures everywhere as you guys have seen. Um, but we're really, we're really trying to create like a cohesive, loud, pink, in your face, in your face brand for ourselves so that when someone sees one of our ads in a San Diego magazine, they know, oh, that's the Boudoir Divas versus another Boudoir Studio. So whatever your brand is, just make sure that um, it has a lot of you in it, whether that's pictures of you or, I don't know, your name in the brand. You just want to make sure that it's all about you. So when we were first starting, uh, just trying to figure out how to launch this business, we really had a lot of fun sitting down and figuring out what exactly we wanted our brand to look like. So from colors to fonts that we like to just little details that kind of grabbed our attention. Anything that we loved we thought might 
emulate our style and our brand. So we just really want to encourage all of you guys out there, if you haven't already done this, to just sit down and create a huge inspiration board. Just anything that you love that kind of reflects you and who you are and just lay those things out and create a brand that is distinct to you. Yep, and then every marketing piece that you create, you can just kind of go to your folder of inspiration and kind of grab pieces and that way everything flows together and so when someone looks at one of your marketing pieces, they know, oh, that's so and so who you are. Well guys, we really want to thank you for inviting us to be here on DWS. It's such an honor and it's, it's actually kind of nerve-wracking going in front of other photographers and saying, hey, here's what we think works. But it has worked for us and we're just really grateful to be asked to do something like this. We'll hopefully see you soon. Bye! Before I'm gonna make